Uh, I still feel like crap. I'm going to the doctor. Ah, I'm doing it. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't really like doctor's offices, to be honest. They kind of creep me out, but this kid show has kind of helped me out. <laughs> And they give you free marshmallows. That's nice of them. <laughs> Worth the joke. <laughs> Alright, just got out of the doctor's office. And... Why? Why is there a soda machine inside of a doctor's office? Just one thing for water, but the rest is soda. That makes no, that makes no sense. Hey, Mr. Kingers, put your collar on. We want to walk down the street. Don't, don't, don't. Right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is time to walk. Danny can't find his shoes because I put them away. <laughs> is that the most ridiculous thing? Wouldn't that be the first place you would look is where your shoes go? Hey, ah! buddy, let's do it. You want a drum solo? Drum solo? Oh, no. One more. That was good, dude. Good morning, DLV. How's everybody doing? What's kicking chickens? We were walking the pup over to uh, Lindsay's parents' house so that we could head up to Tampa to go to the mall. For some Warped Tour stuff, some last minute necessities, of course. Um, leave it to me to leave it to the last minute to pick up some things for a two month tour. I do have to say that you're doing pretty good as far as getting ready, a lot better than you usually do. It would seem like one day would be too late, but usually it's the morning of, or like 35 minutes. I have an early flight tomorrow morning. <laughs> like 35 minutes before we're supposed to be on the plane, you're like, ugh, I better get these things together. So, in my opinion, you're doing great. You're doing really well. I work well under pressure. You do. That's, I mean, I guess that's one thing to say, that you can do things a lot faster and a lot quicker when you're on a time crunch. Are you filming Mr. King poop? Am I? Oh no. <laughs> and that, you guys, is how Mr. King poops. All right, let's go get this day started. I'm craving a smoothie. Me too. Raspberries, pineapples, other stuff. I'm gonna go a little more basic. Banana, strawberry. Look you. Mm -hmm. Conformist. Conformist? <laughs> no. It's just what I want. I'm just kidding. If I was a conformist, <laughs> I'd be like, oh yeah, raspberry, pineapple, whatever you said sounds great, I'll have that. I say nay. I want what I want. All right, got these smoothies. Now it's time to pick up some drugs. Drugs? Oh my God. The good kind. <laughs> it depends Rat. on who you ask. Uh, the pharmaceutical kind to help with my sickness. By the way, Lindsay is wearing a shirt that I got for her from Japan. It was a thrift store and they had a Florida State University shirt. That's of course the college she went to. Uh, they had one of those at a thrift store. In Japan? In Japan. How it's cool like, is that? It's like from the 70s. You had to get it. I brought it home and I was like, I got you something from Japan. And she was expecting like a kimono or like custom chopsticks. Custom chopsticks. Nope. It's a Florida State shirt. Well, I got you a welcome home gift too, but it, it, it's not coming until today. So it's more like a thanks, see you again soon gift. A bon voyage gift? <laughs> yeah. I take all kinds of gifts. That's okay. <laughs> There comes a point in everybody's life uh, when they realize that they're a little bit of a weirdo. Maybe not everybody's life, but if you're a weirdo like me. I, uh, I realized that I just completely forgot to wash my hair when I was in the shower this morning. So it's looking a little greasy, which, uh, you know, isn't that crazy, but I just don't like the way it looks right now. So I went into the store and I bought dry shampoo and I'm just gonna put it on right now. There we go. It's like I never forgot to wash my hair in the first place. <laughs> Gross. Okay, I'm gonna throw this. I'm really sorry. What? You ready? Throw it? Okay. <laughs> Such a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when I fooled like 99% of you with that shirt? Pretty proud of that. All right, I need your model strut. My model strut? Mm-hmm. 
I really like those. I think you need those for sure. Summer short shorts. Get ready for it, DLD. Those are short? I can keep going. Do you want me to keep it? You can see how pale you are. And I found a Tangerine Dream romper. Pretty excited about it. I'm gonna romp all war for her, pretty sure. We are trying to do the DLV a favor and find a wireless hotspot for Danny to take to warp tour with him so I don't lose my dang mind while I'm trying to get his footage. This is incredible. What? How far phones have come. Look at this. You flip it open to answer the phone. There's a color screen up here. And check this out. You don't even have to open up the phone to check the time. Are you saying that that's advanced? This is impressive. Hello? <laughs> and this is how you hang up. <laughs> Anyways, we need a hot spot. <laughs> Why do they still have flip phones? Why? Because people lose their phones and they don't have enough money to pay to get their new iPhone fixed. That I can understand. <laughs> that's why you get a flip phone now. A flip phone? Oh God. Ah, uh, yes. And this Chipotle just opened up. Finally. What was it like? The vlog from a month ago, we were here and it was closed. Twice. Yeah. Let's get some burritos. That was the most stressful mall food experience ever. They're all like brand new there, so they're like, uh, uh side of guac, uh, it's extra. I wish I had on my, I know that guacamole is extra shirt. They ran out of chips, so they gave us the, <laughs> what is this? I guess I'm gonna have to take my guac home and eat it there after I get through my two potato chips, or two tortilla chips. And she's going in for her side dish. <laughs> There's really only like two in here, it's crazy. <laughs> and they're done. I'm out of chips. <laughs> Is there something in my teeth? <laughs> Literally a head of lettuce was stuck in your mouth. We just saw some crazy ass lightning and now I'm trying to catch it on camera. <laughs> ah! It's getting crazy out there. It's getting crazy! No, get out of my face, I'm trying to drive! I forgot about the whole driving thing. Am I making it more dangerous than the lightning and rain? Yes. It feels like Jurassic Park when they're waiting for like the dinosaur to come out. They just don't know what's gonna happen. What? It's time for a mail vlog. Mail vlog. Yay. This looks like a letter from Hogwarts. It's just like the real letter has like the books and everything that I need. That's pretty cool. So it's like an acceptance letter? Yeah, to Hogwarts from at DLV Uploads. That's so cool, thank you. That's actually pretty amazing. This is from Jessica from Chula Vista, California. Ah, see you soon, War Tour. King's carriage shirt. Cool! All right, this is from Sierra in Canton, Georgia. And it looks like a shirt, but I'm not gonna open it yet. Oh, she's a mermaid too. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, look. Oh my vlog. Oh, that's better than your oh my blog. It is better for me than oh my blog. And it says DLV. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is very neat. I'm gonna wear it, thanks Sierra. Emily Kalb from Sumter, South Carolina. Okay. I believe we have some pillowcases. <laughs> One with Morgan Freeman. It's on it. Morgan Freeman! <laughs> That's so cool! And it's Morgan Freeman. I'm Morgan Freeman. And this is Elvis. <laughs> I don't know which one I'd choose. Who Morgan more, Freeman. Who had the more golden voice? Yeah, this one's kind of like. I'm in love with Elvis. Like, if I woke up, like. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna lend this one to Travis. And I'll take Morgan Freeman. Because, like, if my face ends up here, it's gonna be like, like what are you doing laying on me? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Those are freaking awesome. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> Jonathan Malik, Laguna Hills, California. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so appropriate! 
I wish I'd have had this for Disney World. Oh my god, I wish too. Donald Duncan. It's just all it's just all kinds of characteristic traits over here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Alright, so we believe that this one is for Lindsay. I mean, I opened the end of it. Okay, this is from Michelle in the Netherlands. It's a Miser King shirt! <laughs> <sighs> I love this! This is, get, talk nerdy to me? Which That's is perfect awesome. for me. Oh, I wish you had nerd glasses now, dude. What do you think? Just right there. One, maybe a monocle? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. I'm so excited. Me, nee, sir. Sorry. Didn't mean to make a monocle joke. <laughs> this is from Suzanne Norman. Oh, oh it's for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. She said it's to replace the lost one. That one's really cool, though. So this is a good one. It's got some smooth bearings on it. Yeah. What if we started a show where we like review vlog sticks? And, yeah, it's got uh, the angle's good there. It's got smooth bearings. You can tell that's uh, made in 2012. It's a good weight. Uh, size is relatively uh, average, except you know you'll, you'll see a sleek design of uh, of titanium here along the edge edge bearings. Very nice. Nice work. Nice work, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you got, my love? Okay, this is. Definitely not for me. It says it's from Josh in Palm Bay, Florida, and the camo ones are from Mark. Okay. Nice! Some tall boy Ray socks. Well, it's funny, we're watching the Rays right now. That's Literally. Perfect. It's going on right behind me. <laughs> so which ones do you guys think are from Mark? I'm thinking these. It's a camo from Mark. Oh. Well, these are so much cooler. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're both awesome. I will, I will send these along to Mark. Thank you, sir. And I'm sure on his behalf, me saying thank you is not out of line. Thank you so much. DD Wong Chindawest from Bangkok, Thailand. Damn. Have we ever gotten something from Thailand before? I don't think so. It looks like a mug. It is a mug! That's sick! Hell yeah! Thank you, Dee Dee! It's going in there! Alright, let's finish up. This one uh, is from Germany. It says Deutsche Post, which is always German. It's from Lucas Vogel Otterbun. He's from Otterbun, Germany. That's like what's on my head. <laughs> An Otterbun. That's not true. Was, I'm sorry. Sorry, Otters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little back to back mug action. Yes, I'll take it. Oh my gosh. It's just straight up Oktoberfest. <laughs> That's awesome. It's not even for like a city in Germany. It's just for Oktoberfest. Are those pretzels? Pretzels. <laughs> and there's a big boob girl in the back. What's the matter with you? You think they're gonna put some big boob girl in the back? <laughs> That's amazing though. I don't think you drink coffee out of that one. You drink um, beer. Yeah, right? All right, this is the last one. Melissa Bauer Bonnes. I really feel bad when I like, can't do people's names. Melissa Bauer Bonnet. Barbonese. Let me see. Bourbonese. 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 That sounds like a damn good drink. Yeah, it does sound like a good herb. Here we go. Mayonnaise and bourbon mixed together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa! This is all stuff from Canada. I believe. Yes. Coffee crisp. Candy and coffee. I'll take it. Uh. Open can with either a can opener or an opener used for tomato juice cans. Make sure you refrigerate it. Enjoy it with toast, pancakes, or on ice cream. It's canned pure maple syrup. Yeah. I almost forgot there is one more thing that came in the mail for you today. Yes. Your welcome home slash going away again gift. Slash get out of the house gift. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at these things. 
I figured they're pretty old school. They look very Back to the Future to me. They do. And these are gonna like dirty really well on Warped Tour. I know that's a weird trait, but these are gonna look good dirty on Warped Tour. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you get me t two? What, two did shoes you, or? Did you get me just the one shoe or? Just the one. You got me both? These <laughs> <laughs> are, look, yeah, I like that new shoe smell too. All right, guys, uh, I think we're going to head to bed now. As always, thank you so much for watching the vlogs, listening to the podcast, and sharing both of those with a friend. Mr. King says goodnight, I'm sure, even though he's a little grumpy earlier. Did you have one? Mm -hmm. As always, see you on Warp Tour. We'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. Night, Bye. <laughs> Haven't met the driver yet, but here's the front lounge, two TVs. That's just how we've got to do it now. Gorgeous fridge. Mmm, looks like Hunter already put beer in there. Atta boy. <laughs>